Hi everyone, let's get into a quick reading. So whatever the cards want to say. This may or may not be your energy group, so only take it if it resonates. I do channel multiple energy groups on here. Got the Nine of Pentacles reversed, the Moon, the Queen of Swords, the Six of Wands. Seven of Swords. Hmm, there's some kind of information here that's coming to light. What is it? Five of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Three of Cups. The star, the three of pentacles. Hmm. I almost feel like you have like a friend here that wants to come back around, but it's like there's shady intentions here. Okay, this isn't for everybody, but for some, this woman wants your boyfriend. That's what I'm feeling. Or this could be, you know, there's no gender here, so this could be two men. This could be two women. This could be, um, if I say she, but you know it's a he, just take it as it resonates. Maybe this is a guy, for, maybe maybe this is two men, and maybe um, this is a this guy wants your girlfriend. You know, take it as it resonates, but I feel like you have a friend that wants something that you have, and they're jealous of you. Um... And you would know this, like, don't, don't go getting paranoid and thinking that all your friends are out to get you. You would have felt this energy already. You would have felt like maybe this is like a woman that's, um, like maybe she's not as attractive as you, or maybe you just, you get things more easily than she does or he does, you know, male or female. Um, again, no gender, just, you know, but, but yeah, it's like this person kind of sees you as a queen of cups and they're a queen of swords. So it's like they're a little bit more bitter, more guarded, maybe more logical, where it's like you're kind of more emotional, you're more you're more sweet, empathetic, loving. It's like they want some kind of victory over you. There's something that's coming to light here, and it's like they want some kind of victory over you, and they might... It's like there's something shady here. With the Seven of Swords, it's like lying, cheating, betrayal, like doing something sneaky behind the scenes. This is either a friend from your past that wants to come back around because she sees that you're doing well, you're in a relationship, and she doesn't really have much going on, so she wants to come back around and kind of leech out, like psychic vampire kind of energy here. For others, I feel like this is like somebody that you're already friends with, but you're having like, like intuitively, like you don't feel good around them, like you feel off, like you feel on edge around them. You feel like maybe they make little passive aggressive kind of jealous comments, like you, you don't resonate with them. Like something just feels weird with them. Like something, something just feels off. It's like this woman wants to take something that you worked for here. Tell me more about this. Cause she might come back like acting like she wants to heal this connection, but it's like, you know that you cut her out for a reason already. If you did cut her out or it's like, there's something... Hmm. She's just jealous of your energy, too. It's like you might, even if she is more attractive, she might not be, but but emotionally you're more attractive. You, you embody a, a Queen of Cups energy that this woman doesn't really embody so much. Like you have more of a, a gentleness, a emotional maturity about you. Like you kind of, you're someone that people feel safe with. You're someone that people can really easily connect with like you have a lot of empathy that this person doesn't have and so I feel like there's almost like this jealousy of you for some I really am getting that she wants to take your boyfriend just to prove that she can do it tell me more what does this queen of swords want from this queen of cups again only take it if it resonates you would have you would know if it's for you you would have already been feeling that urge to walk away from this person to walk away from this old pattern Maybe you have like a pattern of um, attracting like the same type of friends, like you always end up 
you're very empathetic and loving and you always end up in these connections where it's like you have to bring out like you end up having to to be a support system for people you bring out the best in them but now it's like you're wanting to walk away and and be in these relationships that give to you instead of you always being the one to give and give and give to these toxic uh you know energy leech types it, it's like you want you want you want to walk away from this from this devil energy from these patterns and this person might feel that you're about to walk away too. Yeah, because you want a new start with love. Not just with romantic love, but with friendships too. It's like you want you want new people in your life. Hmm, it's really interesting energy. I didn't expect this kind of reading today. Wow. Hmm. Page of Swords, Knight of Wands. Yeah, someone might, this might have been a friend that kind of um, competed with you when you weren't even trying to be compete, you know, you weren't even trying to compete, but they might have just been competitive anyway. I feel like they see you walking away, they see you having a new start in love, and they want part of that. So they might be coming in with a message here. Yeah, they might be trying to weasel their way back in. This feels like a friendship to me. This doesn't really feel like, I mean, take it as it resonates, but this doesn't feel like an ex to me. Like this doesn't feel like an ex lover. This feels like, um, like a friend or a family member. Like I get a very platonic energy from it. Like I feel like it's either like two guy friends or two female friends, uh, most likely, but it's like someone wants something. Someone always has like a grass is always greener on the other side mentality. And so they're wanting something that you have. It's like they're seeing um, you might be in like a relationship. You might be in a new relationship or something like that. Or you just get a lot of attention and they're like, how does how does she do it? It's like this person is just like a like a front of me type. Like they feel like you, they feel like things come to you very easily and, you know, you are in a very, like, I feel like you have good karma, you know, you're the queen of cups. So I feel like you're very, you're very gentle. You're very loving. You're patient. You're empathetic. You try to understand people. You try to be open-minded. And so people are drawn to that energy. And I feel like this queen of swords is like, she's so angry that she can't embody that same energy that you embody. And so it's almost like she doesn't understand because even if she's more physically attractive than you are, she's she's not getting as much attention as you get. Does that make sense? It's like because your your energy is like so um, like I'm getting like you have like really bright eyes. Like there's something there like eyes are like the window to the soul. It's like you have you just have this energy, this charisma that just draws people in, you know. And I feel like you know since she doesn't have that, she doesn't understand. It's like she's trying to. It's like like the kind of woman that's like, well, I'll get, you know, I'll get my hair done. I'll get my, I'll do my nails. I'll get my hair done. I'll, I'll get some new makeup, some new, I'll, I'll, I'll spend money on this. I'll, I'll get some new outfits. And it's like, she's still not able to compare to that energy. You know what I mean? Like she's not understanding why she can't embody the, the kind of energy that you're in. This could be two men as well. Like I said, this could be two male friends, like, um, and you would have felt this. You would have felt this kind of competitive energy. I'm not talking about like healthy competition, like joking around, being playful. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about someone that you know they want to put you down. You know, you come, you come, you go talk to them about like a new relationship, new job, a pr promotion, and you can just tell by their energy that they're not really happy for you. That they just kind of have that bitter like, why, why you and not me? Why, why did that happen for you and not me? I don't get it. I don't. Why do you deserve this? I've been through just as much as you have. Like, why do you get all these things? Why do you get all these opportunities and I don't get these opportunities? You know, like that. You can feel that energy, that mentality that this person is in. So yeah, it's it's too for 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 those of you that's like too mad. I'm trying to trying to pick up on the energy here. I sometimes I get like feelings or I get like visuals too. It's, it's like, you know, channeling comes in all different forms. But um, let me see what I can see here if this is for two men. Hmm. I'm hearing Eric. Hmm. Let me see. I almost feel like the like for, for men, I almost feel like it's like this man kind of copies you a little bit. Like he tries to do the same stuff. It's like he appears humble, but it's like almost like he tries to like be you in a way. Or it's like he tries to, it's like this man tries to like be, um, 
I'm seeing like a black button down shirt, but almost like, like a bartender would wear like a, like a, um, like someone who's like in the restaurant industry or something would wear it. Cause I almost see them like trying to like dress like you or something. For if, for the for those two men, I actually think that there is one man that's way more physically attractive than the other, and it's like the one that's not as physically attractive is like not. They they kind of have like a nice guy energy, like oh oh why do why do women only go for this like. <sighs> women don't like that shit women don't like the fake nice guys like we can see through it we like good men like we we like women love empathetic assertive kind men emotional men like we love that but the the toxic like oh I'm a nice guy so I'm entitled to you know I'm entitled to whatever I want like oh I bought you dinner how dare you not have sex with me like those kind of men you know that's the kind of vibe that women don't like that I'm kind of picking up on because there's one man here that I'm picking up is really charming with women. He dresses really well. Um, I feel like he has uh, a darker hair. I feel like he's kind of thin or on the thinner side. And it could be for multiple people too, but there's just two specific men that I'm picking up on. And it's like one of the other one is like kind of like unattractive. Like he's not like he's not nearly as attractive and he's not um, and he's in that nice guy mentality. So he's almost like seeing his friend like smooth talk these women his friend is almost I don't want to say like a player but he's really good with women like he knows how to I'm getting like like hitch kind of energy like he knows how to talk to women he knows how to like he knows all the dating games you know what I mean and this other guy doesn't have that it's like he's not smart when it comes to women he's, he's more like the victim whiny entitled like I'm a nice guy you should pity have pity sex with me kind of kind of vibe is what I get and so he's seeing this man that's like really good with these women and he's like, damn, like why, like why, why not me? And it's like, he doesn't understand how unappealing his energy is, not just physically, but his mentality, his sense of entitlement to women. He doesn't understand what a turnoff that is. But um, yeah, anyway, it, whoever it's for, you know, multiple people here, but I, I see like a friend that's, that's jealous. They have a why you, why you and not me mentality. They see that you're moving on and you're wanting more mutually supportive friendships. You're not wanting to give to these types of people anymore. You're not wanting to, you want people on your side that are going to cheer you on. People that are going to, you know, be happy for you. They're people that are going to be happy when you get promoted. You you want to succeed and I feel like you, you're you kind of aware that this person, male or female, is holding you back. It's like you're kind of coming to this awareness that it's like, almost like hater vibes here where it, it's like when you, you know, anything good happens for you, they're not happy for you. And it almost kind of holds you back a little bit where you're like, I want, I want to keep going. I want to, it's like th whoever I'm, I'm talking about here, whoever I'm channeling is very ambitious. This person is very, um, it's like, you're very ambitious. Like you have a lot of goals when it comes to love career. Uh, like you want to make the world your oyster. You have like, you have your, your sight set on something. There's like some things that you want to do in the world. You want to bring good energy into the world. And you're going through this, this beautiful transition right now where you're becoming aware that in order to do that, you need people that are on your side, people that you can, people that are loyal, people that you can count on people that are going to cheer you on and be happy for you. Cause if you're around like energy leeches and people that just like, you know, anything good happens to you, they just send out that negativity and they, they want to just compete with you. It's like, it brings you down. You know what I mean? So you're, you're attracting people that are in a higher vibration that are, are going to be happy for you and going to support you and, and going to be loyal to you. And this person can sense it. Even if you haven't officially ended the friendship, if you guys are still hanging out, it's like, they can kind of sense that you're maybe, um, like distancing or you're maybe seeing them in a different light like you're not uh you're not as open you know like you're kind of yeah like you're letting the burden go you're making a choice and you're kind of seeing this friend as kind of just a, a burden on you almost you know just and again I feel like this is platonic so this could, this could be a sibling too though it could be like a relative but I, it does feel platonic to me but you're making a choice here to let this burden go you're like no fuck this like I want people in my life that are gonna are going to be, you know, supportive. Yeah, you're having some kind of truth and clarity come out. Because this person might have been blocking you energetically as well. 
this person might have been blocking you from abundance abundance with their with their jealousy because it's like almost it's one of those things where you know like they say if you have if you're planning something like if you're writing a book you're gonna go travel you're gonna go do something really big keep it to yourself because you put it out there and you're gonna have all these haters that all these victim mentality types that are like oh it must be must be nice to have money to travel or must be nice to be you know intelligent enough to write a book or it's like always just all about them just very selfish people and so I think you kind of came to this awareness that maybe they were affecting your energy more than you've realized like maybe they were kind of holding you back because it's like maybe you would talk about things that you wanted to do and uh, you know, you got excited and passionate about life and, and things that you, you know, aspirations that you have. And it's like this person would just kind of bring you down and kind of make you doubt yourself and make you doubt what you were pursuing. And, and so I feel like you had like this truth and clarity come out where you're like, I'm gonna, I, I have to let these people go. Like, I have to let these front of me types go. If I want to be the emperor or the empress, if I want to be in my power, I, I, I can't be around people like this. I can't be around you know, people that don't want the best for me. People that only want to come around when they want something. Just very selfish people. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. I'm going to go ahead and put this out. And so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Oh, I, I forgot. Sorry, I forgot to get that other message where I was saying, like, for some... Hmm. For some, this person wants your boyfriend or girlfriend. They want to be you. It's like they want to wear your skin. You know what I mean? They're like, well, this person has like the Ten of Cups and they have everything. So I want to, I want that kind of, it's like they, they see something in your relationship where they're like, oh, you know, they're kind of bitter because they don't have, you know, they don't, they don't have it like that. They don't, they're not attractive like that. Yeah, where they've been maybe been waiting for a long time or they've been alone for a long time or it's like relationships don't work out for them. So they're like. They feel like it's justice. They feel like, you know, I deserve this person more than more than he or she does. Like I deserve this kind of relationship. Like almost like some of the some of you have like people that are like going out and like watching. It's like you guys are going out together and they're watching you and your partner. I'm seeing two men and a woman. I'm seeing like a woman and like it's like very fancy. Like I'm seeing um like I'm see like they're in like a really nice high end restaurant is what I'm seeing. Because I'm seeing like they're all dressed up, you know what I mean? And it's almost like this, it's like this man is like kind of fantasizing about his friend's woman is what I'm getting here. Because they feel like it's justice. They feel like they feel, if this is someone that feels like they're so, they're actually like a queen of swords type. Like they're, or they're like a, like a devil energy type. Like they're very bitter, very toxic, but they, they think that they deserve a lot more out of life than they do. And they think that the universe owes them something. So sometimes they'll just look at what people have and they're like, I deserve that, not them. And that's kind of what's happening here with someone's partner. So be mindful of that. Um, if this resonates with you, please comment below. I really appreciate your comments. They help me get back in the algorithm. So thank you guys so much for watching.